Hi everyone, my name is Erica. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a crochet hook review to try and help you guys out picking the best crochet hook for you. So in today's review, I'm gonna pick some of the more popular brands. I'm going to rank them from best to worst based on what I find and hopefully give you information so that you can help decide which crochet hooks are best for you. Because I really believe that the tools that we are using for our crafting are really important. And if we're using tools that don't work for us and our needs, then it can be really frustrating. And a lot of times you think, oh my gosh, I really don't like crochet. But really what you don't like is the frustration that you're having with some of the tools and maybe even the yarn that you're using. Keep in mind this is is my opinion, but hopefully I'll be sharing information that will help you make a decision on what's going to be best for you. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing all the hooks we see here. We've got the Sorella yarn. We've got the Clover Armour. We've got the Knit Pick. These are a laminated birch hook. We have Prim. We have Dots. We have Susan Bates and we have Boy. And these two are probably the most common. These are probably what you've seen in your local shop. So we're gonna start with those and work our way around. And then at the end, I'll give you my overall thoughts on which ones I liked best and least. I'm gonna be rating these on a few different things. Number one is going to be the head of the hook. Number two is going to be the material that the hook is made out of. Number three is gonna be the grip of the hook. And then number four is gonna be accessibility and variety in sizes because we all know we have a variety of projects. So let's go ahead and start off with our boy hooks. This is the first set I ever got. I think I got it off Amazon. And if you open it up, you'll notice there's a variety of hook sizes in here. Some are super teeny tiny. I didn't know that anything you would actually use these for, but I do have a friend who crochets bonnets and christening gowns for babies and she uses these teeny hooks. And then of course your larger hooks. And I even have a few missing cause I've had this set for so long. All right, so here's what the hook is going to look like up close. It is an all aluminum hook. So it's pretty lightweight. You'll notice the head has a bit of a point at the top. This little guy right here is called the lip. And then here is the groove of our head. And I tend to prefer hooks that are shaped this way where they're a little bit pointier on the top. Some are rounder um, and I find the point just helps me get into my stitches slightly better, it just makes it a little bit easier. The other thing that's gonna be important is this little groove right here. That's gonna affect how easy it is for you to grab the yarn when you are crocheting. Most of your hooks are gonna have the size somewhere on them. On these hooks, they are printed right here on the thumb rest. It's kinda nice because it gives it a little bit of a grip to it, and then the brand is printed on the back. These are fairly easy to read. Some of the hooks are a little bit harder to read, so I do appreciate that for these. So when you have them in your hand, you can see the end of the crochet hook hits right about the end of my hand. These are relatively good size for my hands. If you have larger hands, these might be a little bit smaller for you. I've started a little sample so that we can use our hooks just to see how they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these boy hooks. I actually hold mine underneath like this. My daughter holds it on top. I think if you're holding it on top, these hooks might be a better option for you. I actually don't like to do that. I find it's like hard for me. <laughs> so I actually hold it underneath like this and I'm gonna go ahead and just try and do a few stitches here. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is it slides pretty well. So the material is nice as far as uh, grippiness goes, it's not dragging my yarn. But one thing that you're probably noticing right now is that the distance between the head and where the thumb rest is for me is a little bit too far back. So I'm actually kind of struggling just a little bit to like, I'm stretching my hand to try and then get this hook into a stitch and pull it up. And so I'm just struggling a little bit with this one overall. I don't like where the thumb rest is. It's just a little bit too far back from my for my particular hands. The other thing that I notice about these is the grip is pretty small. So I'm working with just a piece of relatively thin metal. And so it's actually already causing me to have a little bit of a hand cramp because I don't have anything really good to hang on to. And let's go ahead and I'll crochet the way I don't like to, just to see. And this is a little bit better for me, but because I'm holding on to such a small piece of metal, I feel like I'm, I'm having a hard time gripping it. So I think personally, I prefer grips that are a little bit chunkier that I can actually hang on to so that when I'm working through, I feel like I have something to hang on to. All right, so there's my row. I completed it. It was a little bit of a struggle for me because I don't feel like I can get a good grip on this hook. So overall, these hooks are okay. 
um, okay in my opinion. The material is nice and slippery. I don't feel like it's dragging on my yarn or anything and I feel like I can grab it pretty well with the head. The issue for me is just hanging on to this and so long periods of time this actually really causes my hand to kind of cramp up and even though I'm not holding it too tightly I am having a hard time hanging on to it um, no matter which way. For sure this way is really uncomfortable for me and I start getting hand cramps. So these are going to be on my okay list. Like I said they're a little bit more affordable. I will be putting cost for everything on the screen just so I don't get them wrong. I like that you can get a whole set of them. I like that they come in this cute little zipper pouch. It makes it really nice and handy and they come in a variety of sizes. They're also pretty readily available. I believe you can get these at most of your big box craft stores as well. The Susan Bates are another hook you can get at a big box store. These are going to be very similar, but let's take a closer look at the heads of these. Actually, let's pull out a bigger one so you can see. So the head of these is a little bit different. If you'll notice, it is pointy, but it's almost more pointy. The boys were a little bit rounder of a head, but these almost have like an actual point to them. I think where you're really gonna see a difference is right here in this groove where you're gonna be grabbing your yarn. It's a lot deeper than the boy hooks. The logo go is on the inside and then the set the size is on the back it's actually quite hard to see because the writing is so small so I definitely have to have my glasses on to be able to tell which size these hooks are all right we're going to do an extreme close-up this green one is the boy hook that we just looked at we're going to turn that to the side and then here's the Susan Bates you can see how that head is just slightly different the Susan Bates head is a little bit pointier here on the end and then the groove where you can pick up your yarn is actually quite a bit deeper the thumb rest for the Susan Bates is also in a different spot. So I was kind of complaining that this is a little bit too far back for me. This one's actually up a little bit closer. So maybe this will work for me just a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and give the Susan Bates one a try. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some double crochets down this row just to see how I'm feeling. So right away I can tell that my grip is closer up. So I'm actually having less of a stress on my hands trying to get this in. If you remember before, the grip is back here. So I was really struggling to like reach. So I can appreciate that, that it's giving me a grip. I like the head on it. It's easy for me to get into these stitches. Super easy for me to grab that yarn. So I think the Susan Bates for me is gonna be one step up from the boys. The aluminum feels exactly the same. So as far as materials, they're identical. I don't, they're not dragging. They're flowing nicely. I don't have any problem with those there. But I am still feeling like I'm getting a bit of a cramp in my hand from how skinny this is and how hard it is for me to hang on to. I think I do like a little bit more of a grip when it comes down to it. Okay, so there is our sample stitched. I think overall, I'm more pleased with the head on this and the grip. It's just a little bit closer, so it works out a little bit better for my hands than the boy ones. So here's the same size hook, just so you can see that difference again. And again, the thumb hook is up quite a bit higher. So these are gonna be my okays for now. These are gonna be one step up for me. The material is identical. I like the head a little bit better. It's easier for me to grip the yarn. And then again, the thumb grip is a little bit smaller. So I'd say if you have smaller hands, you might wanna go with the Susan Bates over the boys. If you have larger hands, the boys might work better for, or Bowie, Bowie, I don't know how you say that. Then these ones might work a little bit better for you. The next hooks we're gonna look at are these dot hooks. And I actually bought these because I just thought they were so cute. And I figured, you know, even if they were bad, they'd be cute decor for my sewing room here. This Wee Crochet set retails for about $30 and includes nine hooks. So it's a pretty good deal. And they, as you can see, come in a variety of sizes. So looking at them up close, these are all the same size hooks. You can see how that handle changes it a little bit. Boys have their size right here. The Susan Bates have theirs on the back side. These are a little bit harder to read in my opinion. And then these Wee Crochet dot hooks have it down here on the end. It's actually quite easy to see the size of these hooks. They do not have the US size on here, just the millimeters. So if you have a pattern that's only in US size, you may have to look that up to make sure you have the correct hook. But so far looking at the hook part, I do like that it's a little bit pointier here. It has a nice groove right here to grab your yarn. And then this is made out of an aluminum. The grip is kind of a soft rubber. This is a harder plastic down here. And then this is like a soft rubber grip up here, which I actually really like. It's nice and chunky and I feel like it fits in my hand. Now, if you remember the other hook ended somewhere around here, this one actually extends a little bit longer. So I feel like it fits in my hand a little bit better. And then if I'm holding it this way, it also lays in my hand really nicely as well. And then we'll have to just test this difference in our sample. But for right now, 
this is really nice and comfortable in my hand. I'm liking it so far. Now, one thing that I already noticed is I sort of missed my yarn there and I can feel a little bit of a drag. It's not quite as smooth. My hook doesn't glide through this yarn quite as well. This is cotton yarn, so it might work better with an acrylic. Um, it's not horrible. So I am having just a little bit of a drag on it. So again, for me, the grip is a little bit farther back. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm the grip is right here. I'm actually holding it down right here. And I think it's just because of the way that I hold my hook. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. We'll give it some credit holding it the other way. And I suppose distance wise, it's okay. I still feel like I'm really far away from my head and I'm kind of like stretching my hand a little bit. And a lot of this is probably gonna depend on the size of your hand. Um, but either way, I do like the grip more just because there's more there to grip. I like how it lays in my hand, but either way, I really am feeling or quite a bit of drag on my yarn. So here's my sample. It looks okay. Overall, I'm gonna say that if we're going with these three so far, so far this is my least favorite, and I didn't do this in order, by the way. <laughs> it's just happening this way. This would be my next pick on top of this one. And then this I would actually probably go for above both of these simply because of the grip. It's just a little bit more for me to hold on to. It's more comfortable in my hand. The only thing I'm not loving, and I can even feel it with my fingers here, is there's just a little bit of a drag on whatever this material is. It says it's aluminum, but it doesn't feel as nice and slippery as the other two. It feels, it's like a matte aluminum, so it has a little bit of a drag on it for some reason. So um, I like the grip, I like the head, I don't like the drag. I do like that they come in a variety of sizes. They're relatively affordable. Um, and I also like how cute they are. So they're really cute. Um, and I think if you have a younger person who is learning to crochet, these might be a good option for them because of the handle. It's really nice and comfortable. They're adorable. Adorable products tend to make me want to do things a little bit more. They have a nice pointy head on them with a good groove to be able to grab that yarn easily. So I think if you have a beginner crocheter, I would definitely recommend this hook set. Our next hook set are the Prim hook sets and this is the smaller set. They do have a larger set as well. You get five hooks for about $20. So they're about $4 per hook. I haven't seen them individually. I've only seen them in the small pack and the large pack. So you'll have to check online to see if they have other options available. So right away you'll notice that this is much different. The grip is actually quite far away from the end of my hook and as you know I tend to like to hold mine a little bit closer so I'm not sure I'm gonna love these. Now opposite from the other hooks we just saw they have US sizes on them but they do not have the millimeters on them which I thought was kind of weird. Um, I think instead of saying prim and J I would have liked to see a J and then the millimeters next to it. So that's a little bit interesting. I do like the handle. The handle is like a rubbery and then this is a resin plastic. So this is a different material of our head as well. If we take a look at the hook head, you'll notice this is actually quite a bit thinner and pointier, which is nice. And then it does have a nice groove right here to be able to grab that yarn as well. So here are the hooks all up close together, as you can see. And the prim definitely has a larger head on it, um, but it is still nice and pointy, which I like. And then it's got that nice groove in there. So already you can see the grip on this one is quite a bit farther down than even the other two that were a little bit too far for me. So I think it's just I have shorter hands, but this one is quite a bit farther down. But let's go ahead and give it a test run. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. It's the closest one to the others that I have. And I do have a daughter that really liked these when I first got them. Um, and she used them quite a bit. They're nice and smooth. I feel a little bit of drag because the material is like a resin, but it's nothing that's really bothering me. I feel like this has less drag than the wee crochet aluminum hooks that I just did. So I do like that. Now, as you can see with the way I hold my hook, I'm really struggling to have my hand so far away from my work just because I grab it, you know, with my fingers and I, so I'm really struggling. So really where I want my hands on this hook is going to be down here towards the hook, towards the head of the hook. So if I can hold them that way, it's much nicer but then I'm not really holding it on the hook, on the grip. I'm holding it right next to the grip. Let's go ahead and hold it this way and see if that helps any. And I guess that helps a little bit. I feel like I'm just quite a distance away from my hook. And I don't like that because I don't have a whole lot of control. I like to have my hands up here. And as I think you can probably see in the video, I'm struggling just a little bit with this hook. So, okay, there we go. Now it is nice and smooth. The stitches are nice. Um, and the material is 
nice. I like the material. I think my main thing with these is just how far down the shaft the grip is. It's just not good for me. So if this grip was scooted up, I think I would really enjoy these hooks. So overall, these are really cute hooks. I like the rubbery grip on them. I like this material actually. I can feel a little bit of um, ridges on them from possibly, you know, how they're made. I'm not sure. I didn't notice it catching on my yarn a whole lot, but you can feel a little bit, but I don't think it's super draggy. It's not as smooth as the aluminum ones we started out with, but it's definitely smoother than the We Crochet one, which definitely has a little bit of stickiness or drag to it. So, so far, I'm going to put them kind of in this order, I think, only because this grip is so far down for me, it's just really hard for me to hold these hooks. So if maybe if you have larger hands or you like to hold your hook from the top, these prim hooks might be good for you. My next hook set are the Clover Amour hook sets and you can buy these individually or you can buy them in a set. I purchased the set and then they also have the Biggie hooks, which I wanted to share because they are a different material from the original smaller hook size. The smaller ones are aluminum. These are a plastic, um, so just something to be aware of, but they do have the same kind of soft rubbery grip. The hook size on the Clover Amours is engraved in this rubber handle, so it can be a little bit difficult to see, so I don't love that. I definitely have to grab a pair of glasses and some good light to see my size, but it does list the US size and the millimeter size, which I do appreciate. I did find a set of these on Amazon for about $42. I've also seen it up to 50, so definitely price shop. And then these larger ones are almost $10 a piece, depending on where you purchase them. So. They are a little bit on the pricier end, but they do come in a nice variety of sizes and you can get this smaller kit like this and then they do have a larger kit as well. All right, taking a closer look at the heads of these hooks, they are a nice pointy head. This green one on the end is our Clover Amour. It's got a nice opening here or groove here to grab that yarn, which I like. And then the shaft is that aluminum as well. So they look a lot like the Wee Crochet dot hooks do as far as head goes. Let's lay them down and take a look at where that thumb rest is going to be. And I think you can probably tell just from already what we've reviewed that the thumb rest is right here on these. So it's actually pretty close to the head. The prim is gonna be the farthest. The Wee Crochet is a little bit farther, not a lot, but probably about a finger's length. The Susan Bates is probably the closest to that one. And then the boy is probably closer to the Wee Crochet hooks. So. It is also a little bit shorter, so something to take into consideration if you have larger hands, the hooks are just slightly shorter than a couple of the others we've mentioned today. Now, one thing right off the bat that you'll notice, at least for me, is that my grip is nice and close to my hook head, and that's gonna be really easy for me to hang on to and to crochet with. I actually really like that. The other thing I like about these is the grip on them. So it, this green part is soft rubber, and it's nice and grippy, it's nice and soft in my hands, and it gives me something a little bit more substantial to hang on to than just that plain metal that was there before. So I'm definitely liking these. And I'll go ahead and hold it the other way as well. And again, since that grip is so close to the head, it's actually pretty easy for me to hang on to. This isn't my favorite method or handhold, but I do switch it out a little bit if I get cramps in my hands. But I can tell you right now that the Susan Bates and the boy ones were giving me a hand cramp just within these little, I have 10 stitches on here. So just getting down this one little row of 10 stitches was difficult for me with those. It was already starting to hurt my hands. My hands feel nice and relaxed with these. It has a nice grip, it's easy to hold on to, and it's close enough to the hook that I feel like I have control over my hook. So here are my stitches, they're nice and even. And overall, this hook is gonna be rating the top from all the hooks that I've tried so far. This aluminum head is really nice. It looks like the Wee Crochet ones, but it doesn't have any drag on it. And I can even just feel it with my fingers. It's nice and slippery and the yarn just slides really well on it. The Wee Crochet ones look very similar, but just even touching the material, you can tell that these have a little bit, it's almost like there's a coating on these or something. So they just have a little bit more drag. So these are gonna be my top so far. I'm probably gonna go in this order. So least to favorite. Our next set that we're gonna look at is the Knit Picks and it's a collaboration with We Crochet. So they're called We Crochet Knit Picks and these are a birch wooden set. They come in this nice little package 
And the only thing that I don't love about these so far is that the sizes are on the package, which is super handy, but I was really having a hard time finding that size on the hook itself. And I have gotten out my glasses and I've looked up close and maybe the camera will pick it up, but I literally can't see anywhere that there is a size on this hook. So that is disappointing. You do need some sort of a uh, hook gauge to be able to tell what size these hooks are. If someone knows where it is and you've used these hooks, let me know, but it's not on the end. And as far as I can tell, it's nowhere on this hook. Now, just looking up close, you can see it's a beautiful hook. The wood is really, really pretty. It's nice and smooth. I like the feel of wood in my hands because it feels natural and a little bit more warm than like a metal hook. The rubber hooks are nice. They don't feel cold, but I really do love the way that this feels. The biggest difference I think you're gonna see, and we're gonna show you with one of the other heads here, is the head of this hook. So as you can see, it's quite rounded. So most of the ones that we've used so far have a little bit of a pointier head right here. This one is very rounded. It does have a large opening there to grab your yarn. So that's nice. And the lip is quite long. So we'll see if I like that. This is definitely a lot different than any of the ones that we have tried so far. So let's do a little test run. And I think already you're probably gonna know that I'm not a huge fan of this just because of the fact that it doesn't have a nice grip on it. But I will say, and this is quite surprising to me because I thought that the, how round this head is, um, I would have a hard time getting into my stitches, but I actually don't at all. And the grip is a little bit farther away from the hook than what I would like, but it's not bad. And because it's just so straight, it's almost like you can kind of grip it anywhere. Um, but I actually <laughs> quite like this one. I was pleasantly surprised with these. Um, and I didn't think I was gonna really like them when they came. I thought, oh, that is so round, it's weird. How are you ever gonna get in stitches? Now, this is a little bit of a looser thing I'm doing here. So if you have really tight stitches, possibly that would be an issue. But I will say that this wood is really nice and smooth and my stitches are sliding so nicely. Um, the only complaint I have with these and I'd like to see is that they had a better grip on them for me. And that might just be my hands or I don't know. Um, but I would like to have something more here to hang on to. Okay, so that's not bad actually. I'm pleasantly surprised by this hook, I have to say. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna like it because of how round the head is, but it's actually pretty smooth and this wood is really, really smooth. It's so pretty and it glides really nicely. I think the only suggestion I would have for this one is that it had a little bit more, I really do like that rubber handle. It's easy for me to hold and something this skinny, I just find my hand kind of cramping around it. So if you don't have that issue, you might actually really like these. The other ones I wanted to suggest but I don't have here to test out are the Clover bamboo hooks. I've heard really good things about those. I haven't had a chance to review those yet, but if you do like the wood, you might want to take a look at those. I do believe the head on those is a little bit pointier than on these Knit Picks ones, but I actually really love these. And I love the Knit Picks wooden uh, knitting needles as well. I, this wood is just so nice and smooth. It's really a joy to work with. So if we're ranking, <laughs> which we are, we're ranking today, aren't we? Least to best. Boy, Susan Bates, Dots, Prim, did I put the, these ones are, hmm, I think I'm gonna go this way. I can't remember what I did last time, but I think I like the grip on this one better. Boy, Susan Bates, Prim, Dots, the Knit Picks Birch, and then I think the Clover Armour is still coming out on top for me. Okay, we have one more set to look at. Our last set are these Sorella yarns. These are by far the most expensive, but it did come in this really nice, it's like a canvasy book, zipper book, and it's got a rose gold zipper. So these are, you can already just tell, kind of higher end just from looking at them. And then when you open them up, look how beautiful they are. They've got this really nice blush peachy pink with uh, rose gold. The hook material itself is an aluminum. It feels nice and smooth. We'll see how the test goes. And then the handle grip is that kind of soft rubbery grip again, which I think I'm going to like. Now also looks like it's pretty close towards the head. You can buy these hooks individually. I believe they're about $10 a hook. You can buy this whole set of 10 for about $115. Um, you get the 10 hooks plus the case. So it is a little bit higher end. So something to take into consideration. The sizes are on the back. So I'm having to pull them out to guess to get my current 
size. So the grip on this one is about equal with the grip on the clover. Um, it's just this whole area is flat, so it's not like a designated grip area. You can kind of just grip it anywhere, but as you can see, the distance for our working hook is about the same as our clovers. Now, if we zoom out, one thing that you'll notice are the lengths of these hooks. So the Sorella is by far the shortest hook size that we have so far. I think the prim and the wee crochet are gonna be the longest. So again, depending on your hand size, the boy is obviously a little bit longer as well, but these three right here are gonna be your shorter options, which if you have smaller hands, that's probably gonna be a little bit to your benefit, but this one might even be a little bit too small. Let's take this one for a test drive. So looking at it up close, it's pretty compatible with or comparable with the Clover Armor hook. You can see that the head on this one is just slightly larger. It's just a little bit more rounded, not quite as pointy, and it just looks larger just to the eye. These are the same hook sizes though, but you can see that the distance between the hook and where our grip starts is almost identical for these. The sizing on these is printed right on the hook, so it's pretty easy to see. It's on the back of the hook, so when you're looking in your case, you do have to pull out your hooks to see the sizes, so I guess that's a little bit of a disadvantage, but not a huge deal. It is easy to read as well because it is kind of a gold printed on that blushy, peachy pink, and so it's really quite easy to see. And then let's just give her a test run really quick. Right off the bat, I can already tell you that I like the grip, I like how close it is to the hook. Um, it's really just nice, it's easy, it's soft. It's that kind of soft rubber, I guess, um, but it's just nice and smooth and it feels really good in my hand. It's not as long, but it is still fitting in my hand quite nicely. And let's go ahead and give it a little test run here. The aluminum is actually really nice. I don't feel any drag on here. It feels like it's going pretty good. One thing I'm noticing is the head, because it was a little bit larger like you saw, it is catching just slightly. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not horrible, it's not bugging me, but it's actually going pretty smoothly and it's pretty nice. I don't feel any drag on it and the handle is really nice and comfortable. But as you can see, see sometimes I'm having a hard time getting back through that stitch. I think it's because this head is just a little bit bigger. Let's try and hold it this way and see how that goes for those of you who do that. Also pretty comfortable to hold it this way. It's not my favorite, like you know, um, but it's not bad. And I like that it's the grip is so nice up and close to the head like that. It's just a lot more comfortable for me. So my overall thoughts on these are they are beautiful. I love the little case. It's so pretty. The inside feels like a faux suede or something. So they're really definitely, you know, aesthetically pleasing, I could say. I love pink. If you don't like pink, you might not like these. Um, one thing that's interesting about these versus the clovers are all the hooks are exactly the same. So it's hard to see or tell which color, which size you're using. I do like that the clovers are different colors because it helps me identify like, oh, I know I was using a blue hook for that project or whatever. So I do like that, but I love this case. They're beautiful. The aluminum tips on them are nice and smooth. There's no drag on them. They're really just really lovely hooks. Now that we've done all of our hooks, let's go ahead and line them up from least favorite to favorite. So I think no surprise for you is going to be boy, my least favorite. The grip was just too far away from the head for me. The head was fine itself and the material was fine. It's nice and slippery, but it's just hard for me to hold on to. And this gave me a hand cramp almost immediately. In place number two is going to be the Susan Bates for the same reason. I love that the grip is closer to the head. I love that these are both really affordable options. I just don't like that this whole thing is metal. It's hard for me to hold on to. And again, I got a hand cramp almost right away. My third least favorite is going to be the Prims and only because this grip is so far down. I actually really like the grip itself and I like this material but it's just really hard for me to hold this and I felt like I was really struggling to hang on to it because I wanna be holding it here and it's meant to be held down here. So if you have larger hands or you like to hold your hook farther away, this might actually be a great hook for you. My next one in ranking is going to be the Wee Crochet Dot Hook. I actually really like this hook. The only thing that bums me out about it is that it's a little bit grippy. The material that feels like it has a coating on it or something. And so it was definitely sticking on my yarn a little bit. But as far as hook goes and grip goes, I actually like this one. So not bad. Next favorite, and this surprised me because I thought I wouldn't like it based on how the skinny the shaft is, but actually really did enjoy these Knit Picks wooden ones. The only thing is, is the grip on these, again, is a little bit farther away from the head. I was pleasantly surprised, even though that's a rounder head, I actually 
didn't have any problem using these. So if you like wood and you're looking for a different material, I do recommend those knit picks. My next one is going to be the Sorella yarn. I love the size of the hook. I love that they're smaller. I love the handle and the grip and everything. I love this material. They're obviously beautiful. My only complaint with this is that the head on these is just a little bit bigger. And so I did struggle getting into my stitches. I've done a few projects with these though, and I do really like them. It might also just be the size of this hook is a little bit larger. The project that I'm currently using these on is a smaller hook size, and I'm absolutely loving it. Not only is it beautiful, but it's crocheting quite well. And then I think my number one pick and this is probably my number one go-to as well for pretty much every project that I do is gonna be our Clover Amour hooks. These are beautiful. They are the great, they're a perfect size for my hand. The grip is nice and soft and easy to grip for me. I didn't get any hand cramping with that or either of these really. This material is nice and slippery. I didn't feel like my yarn was dragging on it and the hook on the end is great as well. So here is my final rating. The Clover Amours were definitely my top winner with the Sorella yarn hooks pretty close behind. So that is it. I think you, you can see there's a clear winner for me in crochet hooks. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Like I mentioned, I will put links for all the hooks mentioned in today's video in the description box below the video. And if you'd like to see a product review on a different type of product, knitting needles, anything to do with sewing or quilting, let me know that in the comments below as well and I'll see what I can do. That's gonna be it for today's video. Video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.